Good morning, everybody. So I told Scrappy that uh, 63 Impala had a, uh, a awesome hood ornament that he was sending for uh, for Scrappy, and Scrappy was so excited. Got a flat tire. Good job, Scrappy. We're very proud of you. Figured out why I have a flat tire, and that was because on my test drive that I went on the other day, I, I apparently I got screwed. No, it doesn't. But I, I, I think the tire's all screwed up, guys. Boy, that's screwy. <sighs> you know, sometimes you put something up on YouTube, and people point out, you know things that you could do better or you have or they have better ideas or they have suggestions and stuff like that and then you know and and sometimes you you uh these suggestions are are, are pretty you know they're, they're not super great other times they're very good ideas and this in this case um it was a point of a very good idea which uh, was suggested by several different people about this uh, radiator cowl. I was going to be hacking a hole in this thing to make access to my my fill spout, but several people said just hinge it. Just put a hinge on it so that you don't have to do that. So, there we go. Now we got access to the radiator. This is my kick-ass little overflow bottle. Kind of, kind of like that. It's an old Snapple bottle. I used it because it's got that S on it right there. It's just pretty, uh, pretty cool. And it says made from the best stuff on earth. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. The uh, the hanger is off of an MG. I had an extra one laying around, so I used that. The this is just some old screen that I had laying around. And some random bits inside there for stiffeners for the screen. Go up in there. And what's kind of interesting about this is when it comes back over, it clips, snaps into place right on that radiator cap. And that holds it pretty securely. Now I've got these holes here punched through and some quarter 20 bolts that I can just slip right in there for uh, extra security to hold them in place because of course you're not going to be opening up very much just to check your water and stuff so throw the bolts in it and you're good and here's my hinge down here with a bolt through it and the bolts welded on both sides the nuts welded on the back side of the bolt and then I just welded that washer right there to make it look like a pin that's what it's supposed to be I've got the uh, got the horn on not hooked up or anything yet but <laughs> it looks pretty cool sitting down there I had to I, I put it over here on this side to offset the other side the other side's got that exhaust running down the side of it over there and that makes that side look really interesting got a lot going on over here but there wasn't a whole bunch going on over here. It's like a blank canvas. So, <clears throat> I put the horn over there to a little bit of something for people to look at on this side of the car. I think that's kind of cool. Having lots of fun. Looks like we got some, uh, another storm coming in. This is always helpful. So, that's the, uh, that's the radiator cow. I really appreciate that, guys. You, you kind of, <laughs> you kind of came through for me there and solved the problem and they got it works and it looks cool and it turned out alright. <sighs> Screw-tastic. It's no good at all. I'm going to go get that fixed. Darn it. It's always something. It's always something. I did fix my brake pedal issue. And I fixed my brake pedal issue just by putting a brake pad, <coughs> uh, uh, a pedal, 
actually, on that uh, brake arm. So, it's a little bit high, but I can reach it because I've got large feet, so I don't have to worry about it. Done. It works. It gives me the leverage that I need for the brakes to actually work properly. So, pretty happy with that. Carry on, guys. <laughs>